Hello and welcome to the ninth lesson of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where our ultimate goal is to become job ready to start providing freelance services with WordPress and Elementor on Upwork, Fiverr or whatever freelance marketplace you would love to work on. So without further ado, let me give you some information regarding this lesson. What you are going to learn from this video. I'm going to talk about plugins usage on a WordPress website. Why do we use plugins? How to install and how to use a plugin to make it work for us. So without making this intro a longer one, let me take you back to our WordPress dashboard here. And after that, if I hover over on plugins, you are going to find these two options installed plugins and add new along with this plugin editor this one is for people who knows coding but as we don't know coding yet so we can ignore this one no worries so let me talk about this installed plugins first so if we click on this installed plugins button we are going to find all the plugins these are currently installed on our wordpress website and with this add new button will be able to add a new plugin or multiple plugins to our wordpress website to build some functionalities on the site so let me go with this installed plugins option and after that i'm going to share these informations throughout the actions actually in live examples so as you can see in the plugins page we are seeing by default we have got two plugins already installed on our wordpress website though these are not activated so let me delete this one, hello dolly, this is nothing of use. But let's take, talk about Akismath anti-spam. So why do we use plugins? We use plugins to build functionalities to make our working progress, website performance, website maintenance process easier. For example, if you just notice this one, Akismath anti-spam. If you read this description, used by millions, Akismath is quite possible the best way in the world to protect your blog from spams. So let's say you have got a blog site and you have got a good number of blog posts. Now you are getting a good number of comments every day. So along with some good quality comments, you will get some bad or let's say some spam comments as well coming along, right? So in this case, if you want to keep your blog post, if you want to keep your blog site clean and user friendly, then you have to remove these spam comments. Okay. So if you remove these spam comments, if you remove these bad comments manually, if you go with the manual way, it is going to take a lot of time, like huge amount of time. So in this case, if you set up this anti Akismath anti-spam plugin in your WordPress properly, WordPress website properly, it is going to do the things of filtering these bad comments, filtering these spam comments automatically for you. So you don't have to spend a lot of time every day to remove these spam comments. It is going to place this spam or bad comments automatically into the spam folder of your WordPress comment section right so it is going to take uh, save a ton amount of time uh, for you if you just simply activate this plugin all right so now let me take you to add new button from here so that you'll be able to see some other plugins available and i'm going to explain few more things for example if you visit my website learners.world which is one of my blog sites so if i click on contact us page here you are going to notice that i have got this contact form added here on our website but when we are visiting this website which we have created from the scratch throughout this course if i take you to contact page you are going to see that we don't have a contact form added yet so people are not going to be able to fill up their information to reach out to us right so now we are going to install a plugin here so that we'll be able to add a beautiful contact form just like this one without writing a single line of code and if you notice this part here I have used a specific plugin to write this information to organize this information and then I have just added these things here and if you notice these social sharing icons here I have used a specific plugin to list them here so that my visitors have the easiest way 
to share my blog post to their social media sites easily so it i will have more readers more visitors coming up on my wordpress site right so now let me take you back to the plugins as you can see here on featured plugins we have got few plugins listed like classic editor akismat which we just talked about jetpack for wordpress security backup and other stuffs then we have got this bb press gutenberg body spray body spray sorry body press and then from popular each one of these plugins have different or like a specific activity specific function specific responsibility to add on our wordpress website for example as i have just shown here this contact form i either i use this contact form 7 or i have i have used wp forms or maybe any other similar contact form builder to create this contact form on my website without writing a single line of code and then as you can see here yoast seo this tool is most familiar and most popular tool to do your blog post seo stuffs done it will help you give the proper structure it will help you mentioning the ways how you can improve the quality of your seo optimization of a blog post right and you're going to learn more about this tool in future for sure and if you notice this one elementor website builder this is the tool which you are going to use to create beautiful websites for our clients and this is going to be a part of our course and i'm going to add this plugin plugin and i'm going to show you how to work how to build beautiful websites using this plugin completely free so one thing i'd love to tell you here okay so before i tell before i go with the pricing things let me share some other plugins here as you can see this plugin wordfence security this is used for building and bringing them bringing some security on your wordpress website right it is going to work as your firewall it is going to remove the malwares from your website it's going to like restrict coming the malwares on your wordpress website and then we have got this updrop plus wordpress backup plugin which you use to backup our wordpress website let's say for some reason you have got your hosting deleted or let's say you have made some mistakes made some errors on the wordpress website or mistakenly you have deleted some contents if you can have the uh, backups of your wordpress website already you can simply restore your complete website or the previous version of the website by using this plugin pretty easily so as you can see here we have got over thousands of plugin if i show you here uh, actually here as you can see wp fasted cache real important plugin this one also w3 total cache both of these plugins works the same and here we go lightspeed cache uh, to develop wordpress speed performance and overall the performance and i'm going to show you the usage of these plugins in some future videos for sure okay and if you just notice here we have got around 50 52,623 plugins currently available here on this um wordpress library just imagine and each one of these plugins have their specific specialty specialty that you can implement that you can add on your wordpress website so let's say uh, and one thing i'd love to mention almost all of these plugins came along with two uh, two functions or two uh, let's say pricing things you can use their free version and then if you want to get their premium features you have to purchase their uh, premium pack for example we can use yoast seo completely free we can do a lot of stuff using the free tool but if you want to go and get some advanced features added and advanced features to be um, accessible for us we have to purchase their premium pack okay and then we have got same thing almost all of these tools have these free plugin and then the premium plugin and as you can see here woocommerce this if we just install this woocommerce plugin to our this simple website which is a pretty simple website we will have some functionalities as an e-commerce website have by using this simple woocommerce plugin okay so each one of these plugins is going to act is uh, going to like uh, add some values add some functionalities to our wordpress in a specific unique way okay so this was all about plugins now let me show you how to install and how to use a plugin so that they are going to work for us for example let's say i want to install contact form 7 if i click on con uh, install now button right here 
it is going to start installing this plugin in our WordPress website and after that if I now try to use this plugin it is not going to work we have to activate this plugin so that it will be accessible it will be um, activated on our WordPress website so that you will be able to use its functionalities and just take a look in the left sidebar if you just notice here we'll have an option added right here or here somewhere in this field okay so whenever we'll activate this plugin so that you'll be able to access this pretty easily from here so let me click on this activate button and just take a look we have got this contact option added here whenever we are hovering over we are seeing few options contact forms add new and integration right and if you just notice on our plugins page we have got now two plugins one is activated contact form 7 but i have kept the anti-spam plugin uh, deactivated no worries so let's move on contact form 7 let me show you how to work or how to use this plugin so that it will work for us so let me take you here from here if i click on contact forms you are going to find by default automatically we have got a form already been created now if we click on add new button from here we'll be able to add a new form so let's say i want to add a new form i'm going to give it a title like uh, contact sorry contact us okay just contact us like this and i want only this information and you are going to see how it is going to work soon so let's go to mail you are going to be able to set up this information as per your need and we're going to learn in more details in a future video for sure when we'll completely make a complete website from the scratch uh, in our future video okay so this video is just as the demonstration of how things works all right so let's say we have made all the setup and i have got this form so if i click on save you are going to see if i take you to this contact page you are going to see we have got two forms one was came along by default but this one we just have created and as you can see here we have got this short code just copy this short code right just copy this short code or you can copy this short code to use this form so i'm going to copy this short code from here and after that if I take you to our WordPress website, if I take you to dashboard and if I take you to pages, all pages, I want to add my contact form into our contact page of this website. Okay. So if I visit this one here in this contact page, we should have a contact form added, right? So let me take you back here and I want to open, click on edit of this contact page. And after that, I would love to enter and then i'd love to click on this plus icon and after that i'd love to make a search short and as you can see we have got short code option appearing short code block appearing so let me click on this short code widget and after that let's paste the code which we have just copied okay so that's it we have to do nothing it's time to click on update and then if we click on view page you are going to see we have got our contact us or contact form added so nicely we haven't written a single line of code but by using a plugin we have got this beautiful contact form added to our wordpress website now our visitors will be able to provide their name provide their email address subject line and they can contact us with a specific message with their problem so that we'll be able to get in touch and we'll be able to solve their problems so this is how a plugins work and in our WordPress website. So I believe I was able to give you some good information regarding or about plugins on WordPress. And we are going to learn more things about plugins in our coming videos while we will make beautiful websites um, from the scratch, the complete website, okay? So I believe you have found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a like, share this video and share this complete course with your friends through your social media. It could be your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or whatever platform you are using. And so let me know your opinion by commenting below. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this long video and I'd love to see you in the next lesson. Have a good day.